I scream, you scream, we all scream for a surprising hot fudge alternative. So let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We are about to find out if there's a more perfect pairing than vanilla ice cream and hot fudge. But first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. With the holidays just around the corner, I am preemptively stressing out about how much there is to do. There are gifts to be bought, there are parties to be planned, mm -hmm. plus I gotta find time to sneak into Red's house dressed as Santa Claus to keep the magic of the season alive for him, which is why I'm so grateful we've got HelloFresh to cut down on time I would have spent meal planning and prepping. What was that third thing that you mentioned? Meal planning and prepping. No, before that. Uh, I was talking about HelloFresh. This is a HelloFresh uh, spot. Okay. With our busy holiday calendars, HelloFresh saves us time by bringing pre-portioned ingredients right to our door so we can skip the grocery store and save ourselves from having to fight somebody's grandma for the last ham. HelloFresh can even help your party planning with tons of add-ons from the marketplace like charcuterie boards and desserts so that we can give someone's grandma that we did not fight fresh baked cookies. Mm -hmm. And not only can Jesse be proud of me for not fighting grandmas, but she can also be proud of me for making this spicy Peruvian chicken. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a little bite. You made this? Of course I made it. Very good. So, save yourself the stress this holiday good. season and let HelloFresh do the work for you. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Okay, so if you're eating your plain old vanilla ice cream without any chocolatey toppings, I don't know you and I don't want to know you. I Sometimes I'm just a straight vanilla man. Okay, straight vanilla man, I, I take it all back. <laughs> but what if you don't have the best uh, pairing for ice cream, which is of course hot fudge, lying around in your pantry? What are you gonna do? Where would you turn? Well, huh. it's time for Next Best Thing Ice Cream and Hot Fudge Edition. We're gonna try a bunch of different alternatives today, but we might find something that's even better than hot fudge. Something that's never been tried on vanilla ice cream before. But let's start with a baseline with the hot fudge, just to remind ourselves what we're up against. Uh, you know, I'll do a little drizzle, drizzle, Wait, and so I'm a, sharing this whole little. Ice I'm gonna go on the side. The two big boys are sharing this little ice cream. Well, we're just taking a little taste, you know. Yeah. The great thing about hot fudge, which is not a requirement, is that it's hot. hot. On that cold ice cream. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Can it be beat Woo, by I, something that's never been put on it before? I don't know. Let's fudge and do this. We're gonna get started with a ubiquitous condiment that I've never heard thought about putting on ice cream, honey mustard, and of course, this is hot honey mustard. And I is mean, it real hot? I mean, the temperature, it's not spicy, it's just regular honey mustard. Nicole, you warmed this. I'm not mic'd, but yes! <laughs> you, I can hear you. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do such a distance. <laughs> I, I could have brought this to you, or you could have brought that to me. Oh, it looks good. It was there. Now it's here. Oh, it's going off the side. And then, I'm gonna see, get that's, it while it's hot. that's the drizzle. Get it, oh, this could work, right? Could it? I mean, it's all right. Tangy. Mmm, give me a little mouth spanking. I like it. Now we have had mustard ice cream before that was created here on the premises and we adored it. And I like this too, man. It's, well, I it's, don't. It's creamy, it's mustardy. I um, mean, it's not better than chocolate, but at this point. It's the only thing we've got. It's the only thing we've got. Why don't you I, like it? I will just, uh, because it's the, the way the flavors come together is not something any normal mouth would enjoy. You want to like it because of the consistency, but then you taste the, Mustard. I and don't also, hate it. There's something about I think straight mustard would be better than honey mustard because having made the mustard sweet mm -hmm. actually makes it feel like it's not contrasting enough. It's just lots of bad things happening in my mouth here. I like it, but no one in their right mind would do it. True, yeah. Now they want us to try <laughs> coconut curry. Because that's it is how it works. We could just say they no. They want us to try these. We could just things. say no. 
Well, yeah, you put, no. it, you put it that way. No. They want us to try We're this. We're not doing this today. Oh no, I want to do it. You like coconut curry? Uh, well, boop, boop. There it is. You make me nervous. It's chunky. With the way that you're doing everything. It's a little clunky. Clumpy and chunky. I'm trying to take myself into a place where, because I can already smell how strong this is. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not thinking of it like ice cream, I'm thinking of it like a new dish. Vanilla is a good canvas. Mm-mm. Vanilla's a canvas, just think of that. Vanilla's a canvas. That actually helped me. If I, Thank if, you. Thinking of it like ice cream, not good. Thinking of it like a cold. Like you're eating a canvas? Like a cold. Like a sail? Creamy Indian dish. I, I, I like this better. Like, this is just, it nothing melds. And I disagree because I think the honey part of the mustard is the bridge to it they're, having a chance of work. They're both so not good that I'm fine with, I think this is actually a little bit better, but you felt strongly about the honey mustard. I so feel strongly about it. I'm fine with keeping I'm it I'm gonna there. keep it up there, because I'm a strong feeler. That's for sure. I didn't know it was my birthday today. It's not your birthday, but they did clearly do this for you. That's Have you true. ever been tempted to try this? No, and Late I, in the midnight hour? And I understand that like, okay, it's very on brand. I'm the bean guy. They don't stick very well to the top, which is something we might evaluate if it comes down to, see they don't stay on there. They just, yeah, they just yeah. fall to the side. It's not thick enough, but it is warm, right? <laughs> they are warm beans, it may be even hot beans. I definitely like all of these being warmed up. I think you made a good choice there, crew, because I like something that melts the ice cream a little bit, you know? It, it starts to make it more, more dippable and swarthy. Mm. Uh, something about this, <laughs> something about it works, man. <laughs> and I think it's that there's that sweetness bridge. There, it's what I completely agree with you, but the bridge is a sweet bridge to beans, not mustard. And here's the That's thing: true. in a lot of Asian desserts, That's beans true. are a very are very prominent. Like That's true. you have some mochi with some red, red bean. bean stuff in there. That's true. Uh, I feel like this is like sort of like the American version of red bean mochi. Or would it be the British version of an ice cream breakfast? Either way, it's really good. Like, let's get rid of this. I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to like keep the brand alive, you know, and like be consistent over here on the internet. Baked beans have taken the stop slot. I might just have a little Top bit of, of the morning to you. Just by itself. Is that, that's not British. That's Irish and they're probably offended. Thanksgiving's coming up. You're stocking up on the cranberry sauce. You want to get your ice cream on. And is it, hey. it's, it's hot, right? We made it all hot. It is hot. It's a little warm, it's a little hot. You want to do a little reiki reiki? I, I, yeah, I just like you to use a spoon instead so of it, pour it like so that. So it's cranberries. Well, the, oh, good gracious, look what happened. Jellied. Now this is the you know if you saw this you might just think it was a cherry topping or some sort of berry topping which is you know that's not unexpected. I think in, I, I want to do a mixing action. Well, but but that feels that feels like a personal thing. Just mix your side, man. D don't take it personally. All right, I'll just do that. It's not quite soft enough yet, but the hotness should get it to a point where I could stir it if I wanted to. I feel like this is going to work. I want a little bit more of this. Have you ever had cranberry ice cream? I'm sure that's a thing somewhere. In some country. In like, in like Thanksgiving land. Listen, I know I'm the bean guy, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is better than beans. So good. And this is something that you can break out during Thanksgiving and everybody will think you're the hero. This, but you gotta heat yeah, it up. You're right, Rhett. Yeah, you gotta heat it up. That's gonna, that's the little twist. Wow. And it's really there's nothing off about it at really all. Really good. The 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 vanilla just props it up to sing, singing Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful we did this. I'm sorry, Beans. I'm so grateful that we have done this for you know. And just think about what how we're eradicating urinary tract infections. Yes, I knew you were going to say right. that. You know, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Can you over dairy dairy? 
Can you put dairy over dairy? I dare me. <laughs> okay. Do you dare you? I dare me. Yeah, just kind of put it on there. So it's queso. Queso is. So it's. I mean, it's a specific type of runny. It's not cheese just cheese. It's, it's got cheese and peppers and spicy. You know, salsa. Is it hot? Is it real hot? It is feels it, nice and warm. Is it spicy perfect. hot? I don't think I'm having trouble here. I don't think I've ever done. I thought you said I don't think I'm having trouble here. Oh, I know I'm having trouble. Done cheese on ice cream? Any type of cheese? I mean, it's on. It's cream on cream, man. Mm -mm. It's like somebody's taco fell into my ice cream jug. You got a jug full of ice cream. Um, I, there, it's not as off-putting as uh, I'm honey mustard or or curry. I feel like this is the worst one I've tasted. Well, if you all hate day, it, insult it. Hey, I hate you. I hate you. You suck. Huh? Like I've compared you to everything, and you're worse. Hmm. Keep comparing yourself to stuff, and just realize you suck. How's that? You probably weren't a good bully. <laughs> nope, I wasn't. I wasn't either. You butternut squash this idea before you try it. I won't. Uh, butternut squash soup. Why, uh, you know, like, what's my motivation here, you know, in this scene? You know, it's like, I don't, just discovery. To, just to be a guy trying things and, you know, you just seem interested, seem curious, seem I, open-minded. I think I could be guy trying things three in the script. All right. But I don't think I'm guy trying things one or two, you know? Okay. This, I just, I'm having trouble believing in this. I can't believe it. Let me see if I can believe your performance. Based right. on your performance, I'm gonna try this. I'm just trying this. Guy trying things number two. Hmm. I don't look very curious, like, one of the, just just so you know. Screen I typically wouldn't say this out loud. Looks curious. But one of the ways to seem curious is a little head tilt, like a dog. Yeah, that's, that's acting one on one. Well, I, I did some stock photography before for these. You gotta you gotta sell me with your performance if you want me to try this. Right before you taste it, you gotta have a second thought. Like, just, just slow it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like Brittany Broski. I feel like this is like a this is like a knockoff of kombucha girl. But what butternut is it? butternut squash ice cream guy? Why is guy trying things to ad libbing? He's just supposed to be in the background trying things. I don't know how she did it. She did it so well. I can't say you sold me, but I have to do my job as guy trying things three. Um, you know the part I don't like is the squash part. <laughs> is it, can we say it's good for you though? Well, let me look at the ingredients. Mm -mm. I, I just don't like butternut squash soup anyway. I mean, it's like, Christy keeps trying to put me onto the butternut. She'll like, She'll get a butternut squash and stuff it with stuff. She'll soup it with stuff. My wife will try to make it into noodles. I, I know, make it into noodles. Like, yeah. what are they doing? Yeah, it's like, just uh, like, I mean, just let it go. That's not a noodle. Nobody wants it's butternut not. squash in their lives. Now we've been a lot of boys. Have we been the barbecue boys? Let's be the barbecue boys. Hey, barbecue boy. Oh, you know us barbecue boys had to throw some barbecue sauce on some vanilla ice cream. I guess that's what they were thinking. Uh, this is the this is the sweet syrupy, you know, Kansas City style. Yeah, which, which is which I think gives it a fighting chance. Is the most popular barbecue sauce. I mean, it's not the best, but it is the most popular of barbecue sauce. This is our la barbecue sauce. last chance to dethrone cranberry sauce, which Stevie pointed out in between rounds yep. that she thought that cranberry sauce was what did you call it? Cop out adjacent. Cop, Cop out adjacent. adjacent. So we are. So now I feel self-conscious. We're right next to copping out, but no, nobody's done this, especially heated. Yeah. yeah. And how? I mean, it's really hard to feel self-conscious in a bright green right. cardigan. Yeah. I, I was kind of letting my sweater do the heavy lifting today. I was kind of just going. Yeah, you were. I'm going like 65 percent today. <laughs> uh. So. Cop out adjacent. My Is wife that? found this at the store and texted me a picture of it. And she said, what do you think about this? And I was like, I don't think so. And she was like, well, why not? And I said, okay. And then I looked at it hanging in there today and I said, Rhett, should you wear this? And Rhett said, I don't think so. 
And then the other rat who said, why not to the text, said, why not to this? And here I am now feeling self-conscious. Now, I will say, I'm more of the cardigan guy, I kind of thought, but I, I'll give you some feedback on that one. Are you telling me that I can't wear cardigans because you wear cardigans? Well, now that I've seen you in that one, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I think it could look good on you, but I think you should unbutton it. Like, I don't think it should be buttoned. It's not, well, like, th sitting down here, this part right here is not flattering. Well, I told It Jessie, looks like you've got love handles that I know you don't actually have. I told Jessie I just thought it was it was too boxy, and she said, well, but that boxy is in right now. Yeah, open it up. And so I was Show like, the okay, I'll try it. Now here I am. I think it's cool because people can, you know, use it as a green screen and Well, that was the other thing you I know, was thinking. Make their own pattern. Yeah, can you guys After this airs. Can you green screen me wearing a cardigan? Now, <laughs> all over. Do you want me to also unbutton this? No. No, don't. That's dumb. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what you were asking for, I think. God, God, that's horrible. What's that little cotton ball in between your breasts? It's a microphone. This one does work. If you're new here, these work, but just in case, this one also works. Just stop tickling it, though. All right, what's been lost in the mix here is that this absolutely is horrible. Yeah. There's nothing redemptive about this, not even the color combination. Yeah. I'm just very unhappy. Everywhere I look, I'm just unhappy, especially uh, when I look here. Morgan, could you green screen something on this? <laughs> just just no, to make this, this part really interesting? He's not, he doesn't really want to. <laughs> doesn't really want to. So here we are, we're at the end of this episode. This? Put, put watches in here. This is what, <laughs> this is what he's doing now. This is where we're at. I'm sorry, I just made, I made things difficult for posts. <laughs> yeah, you did. So we're, we're, we're in this like cop out adjacent place and with you doing that. I think there's this very, very good number two choice if you want to be adventurous. And it, the interesting thing is, I think you can also do it at Thanksgiving. The baked beans. Yeah, um, yeah. The baked beans on ice cream, yeah, some people in your family are gonna like it. Let's let it Most people in your family it. are gonna like cranberry, uh, but it's gotta be warm. Everything's gotta be warm. Don't be doing it cold. You need that contrast. Try it out, all right? Thanks for subscribing, clicking that bell, for You putting up with us. You know what time it is. I'm Micah. I'm Sean. And we're going to try a hot dog with everything dip. And it's time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say where they were from. Well, can you guess? Hot dog land? Click the top link to watch us vigorously handshake some ice cream and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. To get our U2's collectible, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.